Okay, guys. Yes, who? Captain B. She's showing off her new battery box. Part one. But before further ado, I don't know if y'all know her, but y'all better know her. Miss Charlene, Indiana Fishing. She caught a wallop. I think it was a 36 pound cat in a pond. Hello. Whatever. That's what she says. But anyway, Miss Charlene, remember I did a video. This is a chest hemostat. This is what you would have needed if it swallowed a lure type device. Now, because it was on spam, Dollar General spam, Indiana is now out of spam, not Georgia. Thank God. But if it did swallow your lure, girlfriend, you did need this Mo Hunter of a hemostat to get it out. But anyway, that was a major find. That was exhilarating. She's trying to invent a new trolling motor. It was pulling her around, ding, 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 ding. I thought it was funny, but when I saw it, oh my God. So anyway, that's my little gizmo there. Again, this is part one, but before another ado, this is my Texas birdhouse. And I want to give out, I don't think they made this, but they do make tag type. What's doing it this way? I love it. They make walking sticks. They make birdhouses. They make other crafts. And I want to give a shout out, I love, to Red Alerts Craft. They're wonderful people. I never met them, but they've been on YouTube. They're friends of all my friends. But anyway, this is an interesting story. I go through it real quick. I worked Hurricane Ike out of uh, my fishing village I love, Oak Island. Went to Boulevard Peninsula, so a small team could set up another medical triage. And in the marsh, oh my God, just everybody's stuff and this and that. And we were trying to help people salvage some of their stuff before the tide came back in and they were not allowed in at that time. So I saw this and I took it to where they were staged and lost and found and to the policeman and or the natural resource, something like that. So I said, look what I found. I said, I'm a proud Texan, born and bred here. He said, I don't know if anybody's gonna claim that, but if you want it, it's yours. So anybody lost it in Texas come after me after all these years. That was in 2008, but uh, look those pe wonderful people up, but you know, this is my pride and joy. This goes with me everywhere I go. That's when I go to Lola Palooza. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Let's put this over here, because it's time for the unveiling. I love it. Get my trusty knife out, because I hadn't even opened this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wind is picking up. Okay, let's see what we got. My canopy just blow over. I hope not. Anyway, let's look at this mo hunter without doing damage. Yeah, I better go like that. Maybe I think it's well it's late. But this came from NewportVessels.com. And this is their newer improved version. And part two will be about what I'm actually going to use it for. You know, the new uh, but I like this one, and I'll show you why when I get it open. I had not even looked at it. Uh, it's going to be a battery charger box for my hello, put this over here. for my uh, Sonic. The 12 volt cigarette lighter happens to be on the same instrument panel cluster fuse. Even when I do a bypass fuse, it doesn't work. You try to bypass it and it don't work. So then I got this bright idea I would do the 12 volt through and the wiring all the way up into the uh, motor coat. I'm tired of rigging it up and zip tying it and this and that and then that part of it broke and I said oh lord let's do something different. So anyway let's get this motor like open. Now save your styrofoam because see that little wing nut you don't want to lose that. Plus some of this styrofoam, in case I don't buy a full size uh, 12 volt battery, it'll insulate and provide protection. Hello, no one came out. Hello. 
Well, they had two, but they got two of those. So they in the top of the box there, guys. This weighs, I think, 3.2 pounds. Ooh, look at that. Let's get this unveiling. Oh, Lord, here we go. Look at my business. Here we go. But they're real nice people. Uh, I did customer service through the phone to order this, as opposed to Amazon. And I just wanted to get some input. Now look at this, guys. This is some battery charging station. And what it's mainly for is for uh, controller motor, which I will be using it for if I ever get my, you know what, out to the lake again. But what I liked about this, okay, you got your external battery connectors to the trolling motor, or whatever you're going to do, but it's got a nice secure 12 volt cigarette plug, I call it, here. This is where my brake controller that actually brakes up and down on the brake pedal run that system. It's going to be plugged into here. This is going to be seat belted into the passenger seat. But the other thing I like about this, on this side, hello, a nice USB port. So if I'm going down the road, I can USB it to a solar charger controller thing, but I'm not going to go there yet. Too much situation. So that fits nice and protected there. And what I see right off the bat, is, and I love, is the actually can test the power wattage, power cranking amps into your trolling motor or this battery. And then there's a way to get the UPS, USB, it came UPS, hello, uh, started on that. And then your fuse protectors, which I like. It's 10 amp for your cigarette lighter, 60 amp for the trolling motor, so I like that. So you got to have a fuse protector on everything, I think, these days with electronics. So here's another thing. I mean, just, I love this. Look, it's just going to snap off, keep it secure. There we go. Come under there. Nice, sturdy handle. Uh, yeah, look at that. I don't this across there. So y'all look up NewportVessels.com. they got some of the coolest inflatable boats. And good ventilation ports here, good handles even here. So I'm liking this, guys. And look, your external battery, your internal. Now I wish I had these were a little bit bigger, but you can't have everything. That's okay. Um, a little bit bigger. But this is going to connect to like the outside of the trolling motor or another battery device. I'm thinking I might I have to ask them, will it if I connect alligator clips here to a solar panel that sits in the uh, car while we're going down the road with it self-charge. I don't know about that, guys, so don't quote me up that. But, I mean, it's very good construction compared to most battery boxes. Yeah, baby. Uh, wow. Good handle. I'm liking that, guys. Nice size. And, again, I'm not going to put... I'm going to have two batteries in here. Uh, Let's see what it says. Built-in LED battery meter, external battery port, yes. Dual integrated circuit breakers, that's not what I need. Non-slip rubber feet, hey, yeah, that is a plus. Whoa. Uh, direct USB charger and accessory port with 12 volt, you know about that, but that is very nice. And you always want your battery, I'll put that back in, vented nice. And these ports are what that's for. And so I'm liking that. Good sturdy handle. Ooh, love. But anyway, this is just part one. I think I'm going to go ahead and put those ring nuts on there while I'm talking to you because you know B. She'll be tired and lose these. Boy, nice, sturdy, easy to put on wing nuts. Go ahead and do that. I'm liking this, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. But you put the right battery, of course, you know, I probably need a lead acid, can't afford the big expensive one, 27 or 47 
tight. And then I get a trolling motor when I get to the lake. Use a dual. But what I like about this, I mean, if you put a small 12 boat, like this size, or the six boat, you'll be able to charge out camping your USB electronics in whatever you might need on the 12 boat side. I think that's really cool. But anyway, Wowza. I'm pretty impressed. Perfect for trolling motors. Keep saying that, so I can get over, excuse me, get over there. But anyway, where's that, my mantra? Marlene, I'm coming up there to give you this. I'll mail it to you. Or better yet, you come down and we go trolling for some of those cats. Now, if I ever have a cat in my palm like that, y'all just better call the ambulance. Better yet, know about it. I like getting to the hospital fast. But anyway, uh, that would be surprising. But this is my review, part one. Very well made. Non skid, so like me. Uh, just amazing, guys. I hope this is my first take. Love my Texas pride and joy. Little birdhouse. Love my hemostats. But anyway, let me get around here and turn this off. Thanks for watching. Hope this comes out okay. Uh, that's a humdinger. Over and out, Captain B.